How can anyone, whether they want to work in a language school or privately from their own laptop anywhere in the world, create a rewarding and impactful career teaching English as a second language, even if they are just starting out or have no teaching experience or ability? Hi, my name is Lynette Kim and here on the TESOL Talk podcast, I aim to answer that very question. In the previous TESOL talk, we looked at finding ESL students to privately tutor. Well, now what we're talking about in this TESOL talk is what you need to offer them in order to entice them to um, book lessons with you. One of the really important things to do is to make some little, uh, some very short, uh, inspirational, uh, fun and interesting, informative like trial lessons. So you record yourself teaching something. And I did touch on this in in the previous TESOL talk. And the way to do that is to focus on things that students are looking for. They're looking for English vocabulary. They're looking for different grammar points like um, idioms and phrasal verbs, uh, collocations. They're looking for explanations of verb tenses. They're looking for demonstrations of different situations like uh, in a business meeting how to speak or um, in a job situation how to to do something dialogues all this type of thing and pronunciation classes so if you do short you know two one to two at the max three minute little um, trial videos with about these things and just little teaching videos little snippets of uh, your teaching style and what you have to offer and you're Offering this for free on your own YouTube channel, students are going to find you. And so the first thing to do is create your own YouTube channel, give it a nice theme, put a little bit of effort into it, and if necessary, spend a little bit, set it all up so that um, when students come there, they can see it's all about, you know, what they're going to learn, what you have to offer, and then have your videos and put regular videos up. So you want to be putting up these videos at least a couple of times a week. Now, the rule of thumb is by the time you've done 20, you'll gain your confidence, you'll know what you're doing. Then once you get to 50, you're going to really find your voice with these videos and students are going to start finding you as well. And then, you know, all bloggers say, or, um, you know, people who do these video podcasts, that by the time you get to 80, you're really getting um, feedback. You you know, people are finding you. It's exponential. Um, and so it'll build. So YouTube is a great tool for ESL teachers to use to find students, to offer to students some free um, teaching and demo lessons so that then they will come to you and they'll contact you. So you can have a little contact uh, information there, contact me at this email address or if you've created your own teaching website, which is fantastic. And there are uh, platforms like WordPress where you can do that for free if you're able to do that and it's quite simple, I hear, um, to set that up. Well, that's another brilliant thing to do. But get a YouTube channel running, put up, you know, information that you're giving to students and helping them with. Um, and then you can go looking for students, you can direct students to it. Um, you can use social media as well. But YouTube is actually um, the best one for this type of thing more so than social media, except TikTok. But you've got to always have your contact details there, along with your little trial lessons that students can enjoy. And don't forget, always say at the end, look, if you'd like a free trial lesson with me, um, contact me on such and such or, or have a little coupon code or something so that they can contact you. Um, and this is a great way to get started. So you have you know what you're doing, you know your schedule, you've got your equipment, you, uh, you know where to find students and now you're putting something out there in these places where you find students or congregating, you you're putting something out of value for them, which will pique their interest in you as a teacher and the lessons you'll have to offer. 